Hey guys, I'm Gordon Tarpley. Welcome back. Uh, it's been busy as per usual. I've got a big project due by the end of the month, and part of that project requires chroming, so I will be doing uh, the chroming tutorials while I do that project. Now, if you looked at my last video about the chrome process and some of the equipment I said you need, um, some of the stuff I said were these spray bottles. Now, one part of the chemical mix to make the chrome requires two separate ingredients to be sprayed at the same time to uh, basically make the silver. So there's a part one, which is the silver reducer, and then a uh, tin for silver, tinning agent, which you spray separately, and they kind of develop on the surface um, where there is a sensitizer agent that you've applied before. But you have to spray those two elements at the same time. Now, when I did my 3PO back here, which came out pretty nice, uh, I did them with those two spray bottles. When I sprayed the two elements, I had to hold both those bottles in each hand and spray like a weirdo. And it worked fine, but there were elements, and there was a couple times when it would have been easier had I just been able to spray with one hand. So, I picked up one of these dual chamber spray bottles. It's by Stain Magic. Now, this is the same bottle that I believe Alsa uses with their chroming kit and their, their supplies. Uh, it's about, I think I paid about 17 or 18 bucks for this bottle, which I think is a little bit expensive, to be honest, but it, it does a trick. It just uh, basically you can put your part A and part B. I think I just spit. That was gross. You put your part A and your part B in here and it combines them when you spray it. And I think it comes out of the same spray hole here, which might not be good. I haven't sprayed with this yet, but this is what a lot of people use. I've seen tons of videos with guys using these and it works great. Um, so I will use this in the tutorial just so we can take a look because it's low priced. Nice. Um, but I decided to go a little bit further and I got a uh, dual chamber uh, spray gun that I can hook to my compressor. Now this is made by Pache. Again, I haven't used this. I just got this today. So I'll give it a shot. I'll try to get it set up tomorrow to be sure that it's spraying even amounts of liquid. And uh, I'll show how to use this too. This will be nice because it delivers a lot of material quickly. And what's good about that, it doesn't take a lot of the chemicals to make the silver, but there's an element to the rinse process that I'll explain later, that being able to spray with some pressure and a little bit more volume uh, makes it easier. And just being able to hold this with one hand while I can turn the part with the other hand or move this around to different angles is gonna be very, very handy. So I'm excited to try this. But um, this was, not cheap and they make another version that's about twenty dollars cheaper which is it looks like the same sprayers but they're moved out a little bit and i thought this one looked better because it's you know the spray is closer to where my hand is which i do like that but it's so close where the trigger and the bottles meet right here is it's almost hard to get my fingers in that little nook and uh, you can see my fingers when i hit the bottles so I've angled the gun up a little bit to give my fingers a little bit more clearance. And it seems okay. It might be better if I just run these two, um, maybe like some flexible tubing and put the bottles down lower or mount them on a shelf or something. I'm not sure. I'm gonna, I might experiment with it later. But um, it's very weighty. It's uh, I think it's stainless steel or something. And it's pretty nice. But it's just a quick look to see. So we'll be trying this. And uh, come back here. And then we'll do some with this. Now, this should be sufficient for almost anybody doing this. This was, uh, I just had a budget for it, so I went ahead and got it. But this should work for anybody that's doing the spray silver. And if you're really tight on money, some spray bottles like this will also do the trick. So if you're following along, you wanna get some more accessories before you start, um, this is a good one to get right here. This is gonna be probably best bang for the buck but if you can get something like this even better um i'll be back soon see you guys in a few weeks maybe sooner if i get lucky have fun bye